Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the McRae's Caramels Advent Calendar. Yes, we are going to open the entire advent calendar and try it for you and let you know if it's worth it or not because World Market is getting all of their Christmas, mm -hmm. their advent calendars out now. And people will- Even though there's Halloween stuff on <laughs> Yeah, and people will start buying these. Yeah, even uh -oh. though the Halloween stuff's out. Uh, but I love it. I don't have an issue with it. Mm -hmm. Some people do. I don't. I love seeing it. Uh, because we can buy it early and try it for you and tell you if it's worth the money. Well, advent calendars, you want, you want, I know it's early, really, really early, but you want them before Christmas because you yes. start them in December. And if you want your pet of the litter you need to be getting it now because they right. they will sell out and then you won't be able to get it so if this is really really good you want to go ahead and grab one mm -hmm. um i didn't hadn't even looked at the price really until we sat down to do this video this was forty dollars it was 39.99 yeah. uh, but we're going to tell you if we think it's worth it yeah it might be worth forty dollars uh peace joy and caramels 2023 Caramels, McRae's Candy, Art, uh, Cindy Hendrick, Printing, Franklin Printing. The reason they're telling you about the art is because this is a uh, beautiful box. Mm -hmm. and you it could even cut that out and prop it up if you're You wondering. could. It looks like something out of a, a children's book. Mm -hmm. um, it says featured flavors, black lava so sea salt, classic vanilla, Cape Cod sea salt, deep chocolate, tapped maple, ginger fusion, cafe noir, dark roasted mocha, rosemary truffle sea salt, chocolate peppermint, cinnamon clove, and anisette. So uh, this uh, was proudly designed and produced in the USA by New England neighbors, McRae's Candies, Woodfield Press, and Franklin Printing. Uh, they are in, McRae's Candies are in Boston, Massachusetts. It's McRae'sCandies.com. Uh, of course, then you had Woodfield Press is WoodfieldCards.com, and Franklin Printing is FranklinPrinting.com. So, it has a little plastic on the side. Can you cut that with your knife? I can cut anything. Advent calendars, I can say for uh, the uh, our British friends watching this, advent calendars have, uh, that, that's beautiful, have been something that's been around forever. They've been doing the advent calendars for a long, long time. So that's just a big version of the picture on the back. Yes, advent calendars in for uh, Americans. This is a pretty new thing. This yeah, is they've had advent calendars for like you move the thing around to count the days down, but not food advent. Calendar. Right. So, so like growing up as a child, I never had, they weren't here. I didn't hear of these, didn't know like with food that it existed. Um, and then really, probably as far as I can remember, one of my first sightings of an advent calendar was on National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And they have they the, filled their own. They they have the advocate. No, they open the door. It's, oh it yeah, they open little, the door. Yeah, 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 it makes that little tinkling noise. Yeah. That da da da, and then it opens the door. And uh, it, but they're they're not getting anything. So like they're counting down the days. Right. But that's what I mean. That, that was the ones I know. Right. Uh, but so that was probably the first one. But to actually get something, it's like this is it's really taken mm -hmm. off. So um, there's one. Okay. Well, we, we don't know. How, we don't know how big these are going to be. No, we have no. We don't have. It might be teeny kind of things, or it might be bigger things. Okay. Does it? Okay. This is a ginger fusion right off the bat. Ginger. Yeah. You might be able to bite it now. It feels. It's very, very soft. Well, it's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to be gross. Here, I got it. Oh, keep going. Very soft on the outside. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's burning ginger. Ginger. It's so funny that they start off the get go with the ginger. First of all, you're starting off really strong. It's yeah, a strong. Wow. I mean, burn your tongue. Yes, it's a burning ginger. I love mm. it. I think it's absolutely delicious. But we like just I had framing hot Cheetos or something. I mean, it it burns. 
but we just talked about the difference between having these in the UK and having them here. Ginger is not a flavor that a lot of Americans, not that like Americans that. use a lot. No, and, using like ginger snaps is about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't get a really strong, um, you do the next one. <laughs> you don't get a really strong like burning ginger like that, but if you like a, a ginger beer, yeah. Or ginger snap candies, those are pretty. I, I think that is delicious and I love how soft it is. Yeah. Now, can you read the name on it or you want me to? Or not. Okay. <laughs> this one is the Black Lava Sea Salt. Okay. I'm assuming all these are going to be kind of sticky. You should open them and then just hand them to me. And and then you should open the door. No, okay. Yeah, you open all that the doors. That way I have a job. Yeah, you have, a, you have something to do to keep you busy. <laughs> I need something to keep you busy. I like, the, I like the texture of these. The center is firmer. Mm -hmm. The outside is really, really almost scoopy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stick the paper and just shove it back in there? No, because I want to take a picture and oh. I don't want it to be sticky on there yeah. at all. That, mm. if we weren't filming this right now, I <laughs> would lick the paper. <laughs> that is amazing. It's very, very good. Um, we and need the to. salt in it. Is really it's nice. going to be hard to remember all these because I would love to tell you which well, one my favorite. That was our, which one of our favorites is laying flat right there because um, it's got that on the paper. I love the ginger, so for me, the ginger would be a favorite. This is incredibly salty, so it is mm -hmm. a and chocolate. It's very um, uh, chocolate, mm -hmm. chocolate and uh, caramel, it's got a little bit of the chocolate to it. You don't get a little chocolate? Mm -mm. No, but I just I get a lot of salt. Lots of salt. And a lot, a lot, a lot of sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yes. very sweet. Incredibly. It's delicious. mostly salty. I can't read what they say. Okay. Well, you can hand it to me. That's fine. I mean, I don't this know. This one can... is Cafe Noir. Okay. So this one, I'm assuming, is going to be like coffee. coffee. Do you want to buy it first? It doesn't matter. You just go for it. I don't mind taking your seconds. Oh, wow. Mm. I've never had a caramel like that. It actually has the little pieces of coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I've ever had that in a, in a like caramel. Coffee beans. Mm-hmm. It's little coffee beans. Which, you know I love those. Oh, my gosh. He's being smart. They might not know. I don't like the texture of them. This is not bad because it's mixed in with all that other, like really chewy caramel. I want something. to know, does good, McGrady's like sell these like like in bags, like where you can get just a variety bag of these? Because these are outstanding. Yeah, they're really good caramel. Um, I'm so impressed. I love the, that coffee flavor, the texture. Um, Everything about these is just so good. The flavors are just right on point. Yep. This on one. Four out of 24. Oh, wow. This one is the Anisette. I wonder if they repeat, though. You know, if we're going to get to a certain point where we're getting the same. Maybe, oh, the black jelly bean. Oh, definitely. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Mmm. Tastes like black jelly bean and a caramel. I absolutely love that. It's good. I don't like black jelly beans that much, but I actually like the flavor of that one pretty deep. Does this have calories on it anyway? Yeah. Oh, it does. I didn't get the calories. Four pieces is 139 calories. So eight halves for you is 139 calories. Okay, <laughs> well, we've only had four. We've only had four so far. So what number am I off? Five? Sometimes it's hard to find them. I mean, I'm enjoying this. I do like, I did like that, even though like, like I said, I really don't love black jelly beans. It's sweet enough to where it's not bad. It's, I mean, it's definitely a licorice flavor. Like somebody could buy me a bag of a variety bag. I would want a variety bag. And that, I mean, that's a good gift. Yeah. This is awesome. Uh, class, ooh, classic vanilla. Yeah, that'll be good. Yes. And I have to say, 
before the comments, I already know. I'm licking my fingers. And then I'm touching these. And then I'm biting it in half. And then I'm giving it to Kevin. I don't care. We are married people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do that with a, a cousin or anything. No. <laughs> no. But, yeah, we're married people. Married people do that kind of thing. Um, I like the vanilla. The vanilla is not as strong. The vanilla is very nice. It is not as strong. Mm, I think it's sweet. It's yes. It's it's sweet. It does have a hint of vanilla. I think the vanilla should have been first. Yeah, I think they were going to try to wow you with their flavors well, that first one. Well, and it they, was wow because it burned my tongue. They yeah, because that ginger. Well, I think that's why I'm saying. I think that ginger getting that on day one. It's going to scare a lot of people. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's burning my throat. And they're going to be scared to go any further. Yeah, but the rest of them have been really... The rest of them have been fine. That's a seven, right? This one is, yeah, tapped maple. Can't see it. It's in, a, it's in the picture in an odd place. You yeah, know, it's a little sticky on your fingers, but it's not like... It's just a little spot, really. Mm-hmm. I just would hate for that ginger one to scare people off. Mm -hmm. Because if this was, was around at the end of the season uh, on sale, these won't be. I would buy another one. The only thing that would keep people from buying this is the price. Mm -hmm. um, that one's really good. I love the texture of these. They're all, everyone, I thought it was just a fluke, the first couple. They're all the same. They're mm -hmm. dense in the middle, but then they're kind of, goopy on the outside mm -hmm. but they're yes. they're like made like that i don't i don't know how they got them like it, that that's what it's like but it it's not hard to chew i really don't feel like it's hard to chew mm -hmm. it's not tough uh -huh. um, it just gives you it's just a little tougher than the outside that maple is um it's not chemical maple at all no, it's like no. a pure uh very intensely sweet delicious it maple. reminds me a little bit of that uh, black jelly bean one a um little bit. Didn't we try Anisette? Yeah. Okay. So you repeated. This is an Anisette. I don't want to open this. Okay. I want to say that this is the black yeah. jelly bean. Okay. I so love this is that. An eight. See, I don't. I didn't count how many flavors there were. So I, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six. I probably should have counted on the front. This one is ginger fusion. We've had the ginger fusion. That was the first one. Okay. There's 12. Okay, well, we've had both of those. So that's eight. Um, I could just not do them in order. It doesn't really matter. You should do them in order so you can keep Nine. track. You can keep track. And you're telling other people what's in the days. We're trying that to be, looks like, trying looks to be like helpful. Pan. This one is chocolate peppermint. Oh, I don't even know that one. No, chocolate peppermint. It's very dark. Yes, and soft. The, the inside, when I say it's firm, it's not as firm as like a Brock's chocolate. It's not that, not that, the squares, it's not that firm. That's like a piece of fudge. Yeah, no, it's very, very soft. I'm softer mm. than the other ones. Mm-hmm. Because it's chocolate. Mm. It literally feels like a very soft piece of fudge. It does have the peppermint. You do get the chocolate. Um, yeah, some people might not like that peppermint. I like it. I do too. It's, um... But I could see some people not liking it. It's strong, but it's not overpowering peppermint. And it's just one little piece. I mean, you're probably going to get two in the whole calendar. I don't um, think we've had that one. This is, ooh, I don't know how you're going to feel about this one. Rosemary truffle sea salt. Yeah, it's just, it, uh, Kevin is not a fan of rosemary. It kind of how strong they make it. I love it. What's neat about this? Advent colors, they've gone back and forth side to side. So I know if I got one side, I can just go to the other side. No. You, don't, you, don't, okay, you, don't. Mm -mm. you should not put an earthy spice nope. in a sweet treat. Mm -mm. That is absolutely vile. <laughs> it's bad. That was garlicky. I'm so sorry. I hate it. Gosh, that's terrible. Um, I've, it's, it's almost garlic-like, isn't it? I have never had rosemary, ever, 
and uh, something uh, sweet, not that I can recall. And so uh, don't say ever, don't say ever, ever. We've reviewed a lot of stuff. I don't recall ever having rosemary. Normally when Kevin and I are eating rosemary, it's, it's in potato chips or something. Yeah. Um, and it always reminds me when I have the flavor, even though I don't put rosemary in my dressing for Thanksgiving, it always reminds me. It gives me that, that Thanksgiving sagey feel. I think they're like, for me, they're in the same family. Um, that does not work in, I don't know who's eating that to, to <laughs> think that that works in that caramel. No. That is horrible. I would not want another one of those. For me, like I said, it almost Ooh. comes across as like uh, sweet garlic almost. It's very strong. Tapped yeah. maple. Okay. You should just keep getting them out and line them up. Well, I don't want to. Because we're going to have a lot of, uh, we're going to have a lot of different ones. This one is number what? Thir uh, 12. The, okay, this one's different. This one is Cape Cod Sea Salt. We had a sea salt. I don't think it's Cape Cod. I mean, maybe it may have been. I don't remember. We had, no, this is the cafe one. This one is uh, vanilla. We had a sea salt. We had something with sea salt. Chocolate peppermint. I've got these laying all over the table. Maple. It's gonna be the last one you and that, Oh, this is sea salt. Oh, it was black lava sea salt. Yeah. So, so what's gonna be the difference in black lava and Cape Cod? This is gonna have fish in it. Ah, wouldn't you just die? Yeah, fishy. Fishy salt. I don't think that's as salty as the other one. It's mm -hmm. still very good. The difference, I actually like the black lava sea salt that more sure. than this one because it was it was it was much saltier, the A black lot lava. Saltier. This one is, you really do taste just the caramel. Yeah, um, it's just a touch of sea salt. And I like that. I like just the caramel flavor, but I would rather have a lot of that sea salt um, if I'm going to get a sea salt mm -hmm. piece, then I would rather have the black one. That one has some salt, it's just not as salty. This one is deep chocolate. Oh, I that one. I swear that's what it says. I don't even remember reading that off the front. Did I read that on the front? No, no. Deep chocolate? Yeah, deep chocolate. Mm -hmm. One of the ones on the front? Sorry, I'm sorry if it looks so gross. Well, it's chocolate. You wouldn't normally eat like this. <laughs> no. You're going to pop it in your mouth and enjoy it. But I didn't want to spend 80 We would have had to have spent $80. Well, no, there's duplicates. Yeah, it's true. Well, there's not duplicates of necessarily one of them. Though. Yeah, we don't know. So, like, if I said, oh, I'll eat one of the deep chocolates and you can eat the other one, we don't know that there's actually going to be two of mm -hmm. each because we haven't, we don't know, we haven't opened it yet. I like the chocolate. It's kind of a darker chocolate, mm -hmm. and it's got that imitation flavor, just a little bit of a, kind of like a dark chocolate Tootsie Roll. Um, It's I not think, quite as bad as a Tootsie Roll, but I'm just saying it's kind of like I that. think it... Uh, is better quality than the Tootsie Roll. Yeah. It has a little bit of that grittiness, but I don't think it had the same grittiness as the chocolate peppermint. The chocolate peppermint was more fudge-like yeah. texture yeah. than that one. Um, and I would actually choose the chocolate peppermint over the deep too. fudge. Because I, I like the flavor of the the flavor and the texture but of the The, the deep chocolate's also a little darker. Um this one is Classic vanilla, we've had that one. one. So, so far I've only gotten four uh, Cape Cod sea salt. So we there's five. You would just assume that there would be 12, of, 12. of, yeah. This one is chocolate peppermint. Have, have we had all the flavors? We're not counting here. We might have, it's all right. We it's may have right. tried all the flavors. There's we could have gone through it. People at home were probably keeping track. They've tried this one. I've tried this one, black lava sea salt, which we loved. Uh, this one is Cafe Noir. I love that one. I love those little textures. I'm so excited to eat another one. <laughs> 19. This one is 
The oh, cinnamon clove. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that. Cinnamon clove. I love clove gum. Mm -hmm. I used to buy clove gum all the time. And if you go to the front of World Market, they have these little baskets in the checkout. And they have um, the classic sticks of gum. It's so funny seeing, for me to see a classic stick of gum uh, hey, that you can chew, buy. You don't chew gum. Mm -mm, no, I don't chew gum. Hmm. Very strong cinnamon. But it's very Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the clothes. Mm -hmm. It's yes, nice it 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 is um, almost like a cookie. It yes. Those are spices you'd have in like a cookie or a bread. Yes, that is very nice, it's and it like does a, give you the the Christmas vibe. And it's got a little bit of a warm, not like a burn like the ginger no. did. It's just got a, like a warming sensation. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really good. I like that one. Yes, lot. and and one flavor doesn't overpower another one, but it is mainly cinnamon, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, definitely mainly cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon. this one is the dark roasted mocha. Oh, we haven't had that one. Oh, okay. So they did save a few for the end, because that was 20. Coffee. <laughs> So if you don't like the little texture of the coffee beans in the Cafe Noir, then you this don't get any of those tech, the coffee beans in this. I didn't mind the coffee beans though because it was mixed in with so much of that sticky caramel that it really mm -hmm. didn't bother me that much, but I really don't like the flavor. The texture this, if you like coffee flavored jelly beans, this yeah. is what that tastes like. Yeah, it's very, it's very strong coffee. With chocolate. That's it's really good. Nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like, I like it. But for me, I like the Cafe Nora better because I like the added texture. Uh, this is deep chocolate. Mm -hmm. 22. This is cinnamon clove. 23. This is dark roasted mocha. Oh, well, they could put those right next to each other, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah last one. I wonder if this is a random thing or if every one of their advent calendars, if they all do start out with ginger, that you know? sticky on the outside. Just okay. Like this one is a truffle sea, some, rosemary truffle sea sauce. Oh, they saved that one. I'm not even going to put that in that same pile. I'm going to put it over here because <laughs> nobody wants that. <laughs> that. Yeah, that one will be thrown away. Those are the only two out of the whole thing I would throw away. The rosemary. And the ginger one? No. I love the ginger. Oh, that's right. You like the ginger. I love that ginger. I, I Too thought, strong for me. I thought the ginger was was wonderful. What are you looking for? I was just seeing how they put it in there. It's just little, two little trays. Um, that's there. Kevin. Kevin likes to see how like things them. are put together. <laughs> um, well, they're, they're not. They're, they're, the good thing is it's all cardboard, so there's no plastic in here. They use plastic so that you can recycle it if you want to. But I think that's cool. The only bad thing about that really nice picture is you, you poked holes in all of it. <laughs> so you could technically leave it as a display if you really wanted to. You know? Okay. You could leave it up if you want. Oh, you could. It's, it's, yes, you absolutely Because it, it pretty much still is flat. I mean, you wouldn't want to keep it out year after year, but... Most people that do advent calendars, um, especially people that, like, have every everyone in the family, they'll, like, set them up on, yeah. like, like... While they're working the through them. Yes, yeah. while you're working through them. And so, like, it's an added decoration at Christmas yeah. while you're working your And this one up. does look nice. You could leave this one out while you're, while you're doing it, but instead of mm -hmm. having to close it up and put it up and Yeah, it I would leave it out. This so. is something you could actually leave mm -hmm. sitting out. I think that's nice. Um, I wanted to put, put this in perspective. Okay. This was $40. Okay. If you divide for that out... 24 caramels. For 24 caramels. That is a dollar sixty-seven per, per caramel. Like literally, it's a dollar sixty-seven. Yeah, it's a little expensive. So I, I do think they're good, and if they'd been about maybe ten dollars less, I, I might say it was worth it. Uh huh. Well, I think you're paying for a lot of things. I think you're paying for that the artwork. Art. Yeah. And but people these days, money's tight. And they would just as soon have. Uh, I can buy a mixed bag of caramels. 
Right. They, well, I was going to say Mickey Mouse or something like that on it is to have this beautiful artwork. Now, I like this. I think this is luxury. I think this is for, you know, people who do. I think this is an adult advent calendar. Oh, for sure. Kids even, won't necessarily even like these flavors. No, even though it has a children's storybook looking uh, artwork on it, I the flavors... From the flavors, I think the intention is for adults. Oh yeah, because kids, I don't, most kids mm -hmm. wouldn't like that ginger, definitely wouldn't like the rosemary, I, uh, I, the coffee, I don't think they would like a lot of those. No, I don't either. So if you're buying this for a child, I wouldn't buy it for a child. I would not buy this one for a child. Um, because I think a lot of these, they're just going to be like, uh, yeah, and take it's, a bite and then throw it away. They're going to throw it away. You're going to have wasted your dollar 67 for that day. Um, so yeah, I would not get that for a child. Now as an adult for an adult, um, I would love this. I think uh, this yeah, is Yeah, I like 90% of the flavor. Now, I'm going to be disappointed on two days because the rosemary, I will not. That is just, After trying it once. After trying it once, yeah, it's disgusting. I, I'm really <laughs> I disappointed that they put that in there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat it again. Um, but all the, I like all the other flavors. Yeah, even the ginger one, even though it was burning, it still had a good flavor. It was just a little hot for me. There's only one anyway, so I guess who's going to get it. Was there only one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm saying there's one left. Oh, there's an extra. Yeah, there's okay. only one left. So we so had I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There was two. Okay, so you do get two of each. Yeah, you get two of okay. each. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we get two of each. Yeah, yeah. so there, I'm saying there's one ginger left yeah. for me. It, Kevin's not as crazy about anise as I am, so that set, I will probably eat the other right. one. Uh, but this was good if you want to take it and divide it up. But I would rather find out more about McRae's now that I know the quality and I love the texture. Yeah, like see if they said, have a mixed pack. Yeah, they're easy to eat. Um, I would like to know, do they sell, besides at Christmas, this advent calendar, what else do they have? I'm very curious about mm -hmm. them now. So if you're in the area or if you've heard of them, I would love to know. So price-wise, what do you think? I think it's expensive, but you're buying it. If you're shopping at World Market. You're already paying. You're already paying more, and you know that right when you walk in the door. It's uh, it, it's just a more expensive store. Um, <clears throat> and they do have a lot of advent calendars to choose from. You will pay more there for them, right. though. Uh, you will pay more there than you will the same advent calendar somewhere else. The thing is, is I don't know if you're going to be able to get one. that somewhere else. Not I've sure never that seen area. that before. Yeah. Um, for, I think it's a little expensive, but for me, you, I like it because I think it's luxury. Yeah. If 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 price is an issue with you and you don't want to spend the money, definitely don't. But if you've got a little money to burn or you've got somebody that actually loves, loves, loves caramels and you're trying to get them a gift, this would be a nice if gift. If you have a very special grandma or aunt or um, somebody special in yeah, your and life. you're not quite sure what to get them, this then is a good one. I think this would be a great gift. Yeah. Um, the bad thing is if you're waiting for Christmas, then you're getting them. At Christmas. I guess they could eat it after Christmas. Well, my thing, uh, what we like to do with the grandkids, and it works out really well for us, is when they come over for Thanksgiving, we give, we give them their advent calendar. Yeah. So we send them home with their advent calendar because usually we don't see them between Thanksgiving and December 1st. Right. Because there's just a few days usually between the two. And so we're like, you take these home and then send me a picture of what you get. <laughs> because I want to see the toy or whatever. Right. So that's what I would do is if, if you had that special person come over for Thanksgiving, then give it to them on Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's just that's just how we do it. Now, if you're in the UK and you wanted to give it as a gift, I guess you probably wouldn't get this as a gift for somebody. I don't know. Or just give it to them. Give it to them whenever. December. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before December because they ain't having Thanksgiving. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. This was really fun uh, for us to do. Yeah. Well, I, probably, you probably won't take a picture of those calls, will you? I probably won't because, well, I mean, I could take a picture of the pile of them. And I'll take a picture of this, this uh, the, the larger picture of the storybook page for you. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.